Hi, in this video, I'm going to continue my series on the solid design principles with the examples in Golang. So today's video will cover dependency inversion principle. So what it says is that depend on abstractions and not concretions. So if you are an entity, which means if you are a function or a struct having struct fields or methods, then it's better to depend on abstractions or interfaces rather than concretions or the specifics. So I'm going to give you a quick example to demonstrate what this means. So here uh, I have this interface called greet and with a function called greet and it just returns a string. Okay, so this is an interface. So any type that implements this method will satisfy the greet interface. And I have this function called greeter which takes in an interface here uh, this grid interface and all it does is simply prints the uh, grid function here and now I have two different structs so one is called French one is called English and this French struct satisfies the grid interface and here it just returns bonjour and for English it simply returns hello okay so here we see this function greeter, it is not dependent on English or French. It is simply dependent on an interface which basically covers the common functionality of this greeting mechanism, which is basically uh, what is covered by this greet function. Okay, so all this greeter function does is just call the underlying greet function and the details are up to the user whoever is planning to call this greeter in this case the user is this main file where it is initializing an english struct and calling this greeter function it could have done it for french as well or we could have added one more struct here for spanish with its own greet function and then the main function could have called that one so in e either of these cases this greeter function doesn't have to change okay because it is dependent on abstractions so in this cases in this case it is an interface and it is not dependent on specifics so this will save a lot of time and help create cleaner code base because you are depending on abstractions so the code would be much more messier if this function took the structs so the individual structs like french or english as such rather than taking a common interface which encompasses all the underlying behavior 